How's it going everybody? It's Zenith. I'm back again. Finally, my bike's been in the shop forever. As you can see, we got some wrap done to it. Ooh, got a little purple black kind of thing going. It changes from black to purple, you know, kind of thing. And then we also did the wheels powder coat black. Shout out Texas Superbikes. If you're in the DFW area and you're looking for a shop that can do literally anything except sell bikes, Texas Superbikes, highly recommend. And they have a cat inside. Who doesn't want a cat? to play with while you get your bike done. So big thank you to Alex over there at Texas Superbikes. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the situation with Jixabra. I know I'm a little late to the party. I'm sure you probably already know what's going on, but I just want to give my two cents on the situation and let's get into that. Let me get on the road first though. I haven't uploaded in a minute and I, I apologize for that. It's because my bike has been in the shop, but there's some recent news that kind of came out. A lot of people have covered it already. I am going to be the last to do it probably, but if you don't know, Jixerbra has a warrant out for his arrest. It is in the state of Colorado. If you don't know who Jixerbra is, he's another YouTuber who does like a bunch of speedrun things. And he lives pretty close to me, so I was like, hey, might as well just make a little video talking about it. But it was interesting because he did a, he did a run from Castle Rock, which is in Colorado, up to Colorado Springs or vice versa. But he did it in like 20 minutes, which is like a 45 minute drive or ride. It's supposed to be. So obviously detectives got a hold of that spent a few months putting together a case and this is when i want to talk about brian 636 if you don't know who brian 636 is he's another not another stunt rider i'm not a stunt rider he's a stunt rider he's actually crazy good if you haven't seen his videos you should go check him out chicago based dude makes really nice videos i really enjoy his videos been watching him for a couple years but he recently posted a video talking about jixabra he's pretty close to them and he brings up a good point about you know Jixabra, the majority of people don't know what he looks like. As Brian mentioned, he doesn't show any tattoos or anything that gives away that it's him in the video. And now, yes, you can say, okay, that's Jixabra, because, you know, that was sexy, that beersy. You know, you could be like, that's Jixabra. You know, I know his bike, the half and half, right? That's gotta be him. But if you aren't familiar with the criminal system, you're innocent until proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt. So you have to compile a case that's super convincing to the fact that there's no doubt that that is not Jixabra on the video. And now it could be Jixabra, but it could be a re-uploaded content or it could be James Franco who stole Jixabra's bike. I don't know, it could be anybody. You know, it's that kind of thing. And without him showing his face or showing anything about him, there's no proof that that's him or his friend or some random guy and now that's the interesting part that's where it gets kind of iffy in the case because you need some compelling evidence to get through this and jigsaw Brad did state that he you know oops that he understands the severity of the case in a sense and that you know no matter which way it goes if he were to lose all of his youtube earnings right now or not earnings all of his youtube subscribers all of his his channel gets taken away all this stuff he has a very optimistic outlook on it. He said that he'd just be ready to look forward to the next chapter, which is, I think is a good thing to do. But at the same time, I, I do think he's a smart man. I've seen him before. It was actually funny. I went to Cycle Gear and the guy at the counter was like, do you know who that is that just walked in? And I was like, no, some guy. He's like, that's Jigsaw, bro. And I was like, oh, I didn't know people know what he looked like. That was before I even started posting content. Before I, like, I just barely know who Jigsaw, bro was. Barely watched his videos. But uh, I'm sorry. I promise you're cooler now. I'm cooler now. We're cooler now. But never met the dude. But he seems like a genuine dude. So I do wish the best for him in this little case that he's fighting right now. But I think it'll all work out, to be honest. Uh, you know, just from a legal perspective. I am by no sense a lawyer or anything like that. So I could have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm just kind of like compiling the evidence that I've seen through other people's videos such as Brian 636 which he brought up a really good point you should go check his video out about the thing because uh, he knows a lot more than I do about the criminal justice system especially for writers and things like high speed and stuff like that uh, and there's a name floating around that the police have released and the news have released of what Jixer Bra's real name apparently is I'm not gonna give it out just because like I respect his privacy and all that I know it's if he wanted to give his name out he would have done it himself <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, back to what I was saying, you can't prove that's Jixer Brown's name. That could be his producer. People are saying that's his producer's name. People are saying that's his editor's name. There's really no way of telling because, I mean, you can look at who owns the YouTube account and find the email and name associated with that. But it could be Jixer Brown. It could be Jixer Brown's manager. It could be Jixer Brown's brother. Maybe he bought the account off of somebody else. You know, there's really no telling what his name is unless you know him personally. So, but I just thought it was funny because somebody came into my Twitch chat the other night and was like, did you know that Jixer Brown's real name is blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what does it really matter? <laughs> so 
I just think it's interesting. It's, it's an interesting case because, I mean, it's hard to prove that somebody is who you're saying without knowing that that person is who you're saying. Uh, I just think it's kind of a waste of time on Colorado police in trying to spend all this time compiling stuff. As Brian said, like, they must have nothing going on for them to have time to pile four months worth of quote-unquote evidence for a case that you can't fully prove. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how it all folds out. I'm not sure about recent updates on it. I haven't seen a lot about it, but I'm sure it's all going to work out. It is interesting. I just wanted to cover it, give my perspective on it. But anyways, this might be a little short video because I got to go do some rollers and some wrap reveal pictures for the bike. But if you guys did enjoy, I would have really appreciated if you were to like the video and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I think is 110% possible just because I got it like that. <laughs> but no, I'm playing. Sort of, not really. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Adios.